everyone, welcome to our accounting 210. In this video, we will talk about chapter 9, the master budget. Um, so you have four learning objectives from the textbook, but in our course, we just focus on the first three. Uh, you will say, oh, it's only three, right? <laughs> but I have to warn you, there are a lot of material in this chapter. So in this video, I only focus on the main one. Um, make sure you read textbook, watch the My Accounting Lab video to get the overall completed picture. So now let's get started. Uh, learning objective one, I describe how and why managers use a budget. So um, from the name, we said the name is called a master budget. Um, how do you interpret the name? Uh, as a foreigner, you know, always that English is my second language, but when I read something, when I read the title, we'll say it's a budget, right? In chapter one, we learned that there are three responsibilities for managers. They have to make the budget. What's the meaning of budget? Budget is you, you say you have a budget. I believe all of my students, they have budget, no matter it's your time budget or your financial budget, right? This month, I only have $600 to spend. That's your financial budget. Hey, I just have 24 hours. I, uh, today, I need to do this, do this, that kind of like a time budget. Uh, so in the company, they also have a budget. So it's something related with the budget, your prediction, what you plan to do. And then what's the meaning of a master? Master, for me, I think it means important, the main, right, the main thing. So this is the main budget for a company that covers everything for your production, for your operation, for your cash, for your, you know, all of those things. So that's what we will cover. Um, okay, so, <laughs> so the first one talking about how and why you have to use a budget, right? How and why you have to use budget. Let me make it a little bit larger. Okay, I minimize this size. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, how and why we have to use a budget uh, because you ask you ask yourself why you have a budget like I only have six hundred dollar I need to budget the food at two hundred you know uh, this gas two hundred a uh, video game two hundred right? why you have to have a budget um, because you want to improve yourself right so you want to compare your eye control with your budget you find here whether you are doing better if you are doing better than your budget you keep doing well. If you do something bad, then you have to make changes to adjust. Uh, so that is, think about yourself, and then think about, understand the manager's behavior. Uh, so you all kind of, you have a new strategy, you have a plan, the plan is your budget, and then you actually do it, that's your action, and then you have a control, control means you compare, and then you use your feedback to uh, correct yourself, right? So in our accounting, we have actual numbers, Say this is your company, you have this performance report, you have sales revenue, you minus variable cost gives you contribution margin, minus your fixed cost gives you operating income. So uh, we will look at this table, chapter nine, chapter 10, chapter 11, okay? Those three chapters are connected. They basically talking about budget, variance, those things. So if you, um, a little bit hard for this chapter, don't worry too much, we will, uh, talk more once we finish chapter 11, hopefully you will feel better for this topic. Okay, so you have this column, column called the actual, so we always have an actual column on the left side, so we have this actual column, we have this actual, so that is or what actually happened, right? So you actually your revenue, variable cost, contribution margin, and the fixed cost that you're operating. But you also have a budget, right? So let's say, what color is this one? Rainbow, okay. <laughs> so you also have a budget. You also, you thought you will sell 450. You thought variable cost. You thought, you know, your contribution margin. You thought your operating income would be this. So you, hey, I like the rainbow color, right? Rainbow. So, so now you can say your budget, you thought you will only earn 105,000, but actually you earned 119. So you are doing better. In accounting, we don't call difference. We do not call difference. We have a fancy name. We call it a variance, right? Very fancy, right? Variance. Variance is just the difference. It's the actual minus the budget. 
So you found out that, hey, we have 14,000 positive, we call it favorable variance. Okay, so that's just a general idea. Uh, next one, we have a concept called a budgetary slack. Make sure you know it. Uh, basically, it's sometimes you over budget, you know, or sometimes you uh, under budget your revenue, over budget your expense, under budget your revenue. You will say, who will do this, right? Who will do this? Why you over budget your expense, under budget your revenue? So if you do this, then you will have a lower income because you have a over budgeted expense, under budgeted revenue. Why you do that? Think about this. Because you read your textbook, then there are, I believe, three reasons. Uh, general idea is you kind of set your budget very low. You say, hey, for myself, let's like say, um, come in exam, right? I, I, I budget maybe um, I only will get 70. So if you get 80, you will be so happy, right? <laughs> so can you set your budget bar low? Uh, so you, you tell your boss, hey, this year I think um, our budget operating income is only 100 million. But then it turned out to be 200 million. Your boss will be so happy and give you a bonus and promote you kind of like that. So that is kind of first reason is you want to, you know, be safe. Uh, think about the worst scenario. So when the real actual comes out, you are better off. Second is if you budget for the worst, then you may get more resources. So your boss will say, oh, I may give you more people, give you more staff, give you more resources to help you. And got a general idea of a budgetary slack. Um, so why we have to budget the three reasons, uh, you have good planning, then you have good communication, coordination, and then that also works as a benchmark, okay? General idea, you know, first first part is give you an overall picture. This is the hard part, okay? This, this is not hard, this is important part. The master budget, the master budget. Do you like the rainbow pen? Do you like the rainbow pen? <laughs> Master budget, we talk about it's the budget and it's a master. So it's a comprehensive uh, planning for the entire company, right? So you have uh, all the company. For the master budget, we have uh, two parts. So that will be our learning objective, two learning objective three. The first budget is called the operating budget. So the budget covers our operating. And then it covers, gives us daily operation, you know, give daily operation, the production, manufacturing, and then, you know, other things. It will give us the income statement because when you have operating, you budget for your revenue, you budget for your cost, for the cost, then you budget for your other opera, um, operating expenses, then you get your operating income. So that gives our income statement. Operating budget gives us income statement. Financial budget, financial budget talking about the capital expenditure budget and the cash budget. It will give us the balance sheet. So we have a cash. Cash is asset. Asset is a balance sheet. Okay? So Operating budget gives us income statement. Financial budget gives us the balance sheet. Make sure you know those two parts. So let's look at all these. Um, I think that's all. Oh, okay. So let's look at this table. That's what we will cover. Uh, what if you know this table, you are done for this chapter. So let's look at this table. We have so many budgets in this chapter. I believe we have. A, a lot of budget, you have to know each budget. So we always start, okay, sorry, I I go back. Okay. So you first have this operating budget, right? So you have an operating budget. Operating budget gives you what? Operating budget gives you income statement. Operating budget gives you income statement. Operating income budget gives you income statement. And then you have this financial budget. The financial budget gives you what? Financial budget gives you balance sheet, okay? Financial budget gives you balance sheet, okay? Those are two main budgets. We always start from a sales budget. We always start from a sales budget. You have a sales, you have a production. How do we got production? Direct material, direct labor, manufacturing overhead, right? So that gives our production cost. And then you have our operating expense then you will get our operating income, right? So you will say, 
this is revenue minus cost of goods sold minus gives us gross margin minus all the operating expense gives us operating income i think i did something wrong i sorry i think i messed it here up it should be oh yeah this is okay sorry about that so this one gives you operating income operating budget gives us operating income operating income and then for our financial budget we talk about cash we talk about money so that is our asset we get our balance sheet we get our budget in the balance sheet so your job look at how many budgets we have one two the two the production has one two three small one then you have an expense budget okay so one two three four five six seven so you have a seven budget so we will talk about each budget in the following video okay let me know if you have any question let me know if you like this rainbow pen yes or no i'll see you next video thank you